everything you need to know about sell order. That's what we're talking today. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced trader, there's something in this video for you. And first, a huge shout out and thank you to all of you who commented and DM'd me on my previous video, which I'll link above here, all about buy orders, saying please create a video about sell orders. So this one is for you. And for those of you who are new, please feel free to comment below or DM me any questions you have because there could be more videos like this just for you. So with that, I hope you are as excited as I am to go through all these sell orders. We're gonna be covering market, limit, stop orders, when to use them, how to use them, and how to be a little strategic about when placing these orders and when the best time to place them are. We're also gonna briefly be touching on tax implications. And most importantly, the content we're gonna be covering today while focused on cryptocurrency is really true for trading stocks, ETFs, bonds. It's really applicable for any type of investment that you're planning to make. And with that, grab your favorite beverage and let's jump right into it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Logan and I am so thankful that you are here. Before we dive into these sellers, just a few things. First, we're gonna be going through Coinbase Pro, which is the exchange I use for my own personal accounts. So you're gonna see the live trades of each of these different sell types today. If you also wanna get involved with Coinbase Pro, I put a link in the description below where you can get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin for signing up. The second thing is the disclaimer. I'm not a financial professional or advisor, so everything in this video is my opinion and based off of my experiences. So be sure to do your own research and check into these things before making any financial decisions, especially related to cryptocurrency. And thirdly, there's gonna be a lot of great information in this video, including a lot of visuals. So I've included timestamps in the description below if you need to jump around. And I also have a blog, www.brianlogan.com, where I will place the whole transcript of this video as well as each and every one of those visuals so you can go back and check those out. So we're gonna be working under the assumption today that you currently own a cryptocurrency that you're looking to sell. There is something called short selling where you don't actually have to own the coin before selling it. I'm gonna to touch on that a little bit at the end of the video. It's pretty limited in the cryptocurrency space, but just wanted to make you aware that the majority of the conversation today is that assumption that you currently own something and you're looking to sell it in the future. I'm really excited to be going through this with you all. So let's jump on over to the computer and we'll talk through all of these orders and I'll show you how to place them. All right, so this is an overview of all three different types of orders, market, limit, and stop. We're gonna be going through each one of these and referring back to this visual as we go. So let's start with market first. This is the simplest to understand. Just like on the buy side, a sell market order just means you're willing to sell your cryptocurrency right now. This is the same order that's used if you're just using Coinbase or more simplistic type exchanges where you don't have the option to choose limit or stop orders. So let's jump over to Coinbase Pro now and show you what this looks like. So here we are in Coinbase Pro. If this is the first time you're seeing Coinbase Pro, I've actually got tutorials that you can go through that explains everything that's going on on this page and how to fund the account and how to really first get started with Coinbase. I'll link those videos above now so you can check those out. For now, we're gonna jump right into these orders. So I currently own Bitcoin and Ethereum, so we're gonna use those coins as examples today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change our market to Ethereum, which is listed here over to the left-hand side. So if you remember, this is our graph of what's going on with Ethereum. I typically change this to one day because I'm not a day trader. On the left-hand side of the screen is our order book where we can place both our buy and sell orders. So we're gonna jump down to our order form and go over to sell. Here is the market limit and stop that we're gonna be going through today. Remember market is just looking to sell ether at whatever the current price is. So I actually don't wanna sell any ether right now, but for the purposes of the video and to show you guys what it looks like, we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're just gonna do a really small amount. So I'm gonna do 0.001 ether only about $2. So when I place this order, it's gonna immediately fill at whatever price is available. So let's do it. All right, now you can see what happened is down here in the open order area and the fill. So we sold 0.001 of ether at this price, a very small fee, which is again why you use Coinbase Pro, more on that in my previous videos. And then you can see in our fill order that it was executed immediately. So that is a market order. If you're trying to get out immediately, quickly, you use a market order. Now let's talk limits. So a sell limit order is saying sell at my price as the price of the coin goes higher. Let's dive into a little bit more detail about this. The way I like to think about sell limit order is the profit taking order. As the price increases at the cryptocurrency, I wanna take profit. 
by selling either a portion or the entire amount of coin that I have. Let's jump down to the graphic to show you an example of a sell limit order. So this is a graph of Ethereum over the past several days. So let's assume this is today, this yellow bar here, and that we bought Ethereum on this day at about $1,850. So that's equivalent to about the top of this yellow line here. And now we want to make sure that we are able to take profits from this trade. Now, the reason to place a sell limit order is if you're not watching the market all the time, or you have a lot of different investments and you don't want to potentially miss the opportunity to take some profit off. So that's where a sell limit order comes in handy. And a sell limit order will only fill once the price of the coin reaches your specified price. So you can essentially place this order and forget about it. So in this example, as well as out in the real world, it's good common practice to place your sell limit order or your profit taking order somewhere around a resistance level that you've seen historically. And resistance level means just an area where the stock or the coin has previously been to and found some resistance, meaning it hasn't broken through there. Or it had some issues from a price perspective getting through this level. Price tends to obey these ideas of support and resistance lines. And while it's not 100%, it's a helpful guide when thinking through setting your sell limit orders. So in this example, we can see a resistance forming around the $23, $2,400 level. So this might be a great place to put a profit taking order with the assumption that the coin will continue to go up and hit this price. So to take advantage of that price movement and lock in profits, we would put a sell limit order in for $2,330, which means based off of the price that we bought Ethereum, which was about 1,850, we would profit around $480 per coin or about a 25% win, which is crazy in the stock market world, a 25% swing. But in the world of cryptocurrency, that's not as crazy. So again, I like to think about sell limit order as a profit taking order. Let's jump over to Coinbase Pro and now show you how to place one of these orders. So we're back over in Ethereum now on Coinbase Pro, and we're gonna zoom in a little bit on this daily chart, which is the example that we were showing in the previous slide. So I made that slide a few days ago, so you can actually see the price of Ethereum has now increased since making that slide. So we bought in the example around 1850, and we're looking to place that sell limit order or that profit order up here around the 2330. So to do that, we're gonna come back over to our order form on the left-hand side of the screen. We're gonna make sure sell is selected. We're gonna jump over to limit. And now Coinbase Pro or whatever platform you're using requires two pieces of information. The first one is how much you're wanting to sell. So let's go ahead and point 0 0.01 ether. And then what price you're hoping to sell it at. So again, we're gonna do 2330 which is right around that resistance level. So now you can see the fee and the total amount we're selling. So let's go ahead and place the sell order. So once you click that button, you will now see in the open order section, not in the fill because it's not a market order and it didn't immediately fill, we can see that we have a sell order for 0.01 ether for $2,330 out on the market and it's open. That means our order is on this order book now waiting to be filled as the price increases up to that $2,330. At this point, you would now wait and hope that the price increases to your profit target. And that's the basics around a sell limit order. Now let's go back and talk about stops. Sell stop orders are some of the most common orders that you typically hear about because you've often heard of the phrase stop loss order. And that's what these are. Sell stops are stop loss orders. It's selling at my price as the price of the coin goes lower. So let's dive a little bit more into these stop orders. So here we are, a sell stop order, the stop loss order, the loss reduction order. We're trying to limit the amount that we could lose on a trade. So let's look at this example. This is Ethereum again, and the same chart. So actually we're gonna assume just like before that this is today, we bought at that $1,850, and now we wanna place a stop loss order so that if the price of the coin falls, we don't lose too much. A best practice and pro tip for placing stop loss orders or these sell stop orders is to place that order below a support line. So similar to how we were thinking about those stop limit orders of placing that profit order above resistance, for stop loss orders, we wanna place the stop typically below a support level. And the idea behind that is that if there is a support level, the price may naturally fluctuate down into that support level which would be characteristic with the coin since that's how it's previously performed. And we don't wanna be stopped out at that point. We wanna be stopped out if it moves past that support level. So that's what you can see in this chart below. You can see that previously in the past, there was some support around the $1,700 or so. So as we look at where we bought, we kind of bought off of that $1,700 support level or so. So when we think about a stop loss order, we wanna be sure that our stop loss 
is below that 1700. So this is just my strategy in, in the way I see a lot of professional successful traders trade. You can certainly place your stop order wherever you see fit, closer to the price that you bought, farther away from the price that you thought. This is just the way that I trade and I think is a pretty good balance between too close and too far away. So with that, we would look to place a sell stop order under that $1,700, somewhere maybe at $1,687 in this example. Now you may be asking why $1,687? Great question. So in my own personal experience and what I've seen from other traders and just the way that prices typically work is that many orders will be placed at common numbers, round numbers, zeros and fives. So it's good practice to actually put your sell stop orders below very common prices. And the reason for this is let's say a lot of people like $1,690. It's a nice round number. There might be so many sell orders there that the price actually gets pushed down to that level knowing that there's a lot of people willing to sell and your order would get triggered. But by placing it at 1687, you might actually get the chance to stay in the trade without risking much more. And by remaining in the trade, you might be able to take advantage of a continued price movement up. I have seen it way too many times where the price of the coin or the stock dips right to my stop, I get stopped out and then it swings back the other way and makes a huge profit. And I missed out on that because my stop was too tight or I had a nice round number. When I changed to started using these more odd numbers, I found that the price would go down, wouldn't quite hit my stop and then continue up. So I was able to take advantage of that price movement. Again, I'm not a financial expert. This is what's worked for me in the past and it is not 100%. Just something to think about when you're placing your sell stop orders. Now with that, let's jump over to Coinbase Pro and place a sell stop or stop loss order. All right, so we are back in Coinbase Pro. We're gonna jump back to our chart over here just because I like to reference the chart just like I did in the example. So again, that day that we bought is this large green bar and we're looking to place a stop below that 1700 mark around 1687. So to do that, we're just gonna come over to our sell orders. We're going to move from limit to stop and we're gonna to begin to fill out this information. So the first thing is the stop price. So this is that 1687. This is the price where our order will go on the market and look to be filled. So traditionally a stop order becomes a market order once it hits your price. So in this instance, our stop price is 1687. That means if the price of Ethereum were to hit $1,687, it would become a market order and fill almost instantly which is good because when you're trying to get out of something, you wanna get out of it. Now you may notice that it looks a little different over here because there's a stop price, the amount, and then a limit price. So in Coinbase Pro, unfortunately, you're not actually allowed to just do a stop loss order or a stop or a sell stop order. You have to do a sell stop limit order. Now don't be concerned about this. We're gonna go through what this means and it's pretty straightforward. Before we dive in, remember this is just with Coinbase Pro. Other exchanges may allow you to actually set a sell, a sell stop order, and when that stop price gets hit, it would execute as a market order and get filled almost immediately. But in Coinbase Pro, it's a little bit different. So what does this sell stop limit mean? If we remember back, a sell limit means that you're looking to sell the coin at or above a given price because you're trying to take a profit. In this instance, the same phrase works. You're looking to sell the coin at or above the limit price. The difference here is we're combining it with a stop loss order. So what this means is that when you think about placing these sell stop orders, you wanna place the limit order at or below your stop order because anything at that limit order and above is when you're looking to sell. But because you have a stop order, your trade won't execute until the Ethereum hits that stop order. So if that was confusing, let's just look at the example on the page. So again, we bought Ethereum on this day for $1,850. We put our stop order in at 1687, which is below that 1700 resistance, but now we're required to put a limit order in. So we could put it in at 1687, but I like to place my limit orders just a little bit below my sell stop order. And the reason for this is if I put my limit order right at 1687, more than likely it will fill as soon as Ethereum hits that 1687, but because it's a limit order, it says it won't sell if the price continues to drop. And if for some reason the market is moving really, really fast, there is a chance that you may not get filled right away at your price. So by moving your limit order a little bit below your stop order, it allows Ethereum or the stock that you're trading to move a little bit and for you to still get filled. More than likely, you'll get filled at the price you want but this gives you a little bit of wiggle room and protection in case the market is moving really, really fast. 
All right, with that, we're gonna jump back into Coinbase Pro and finish placing our stop loss order. All right, we're back. So we're gonna place our stop price at 1687. Again, this is the price where we want our order to go live and where we're looking to sell Ethereum. We're gonna put in how much we wanna sell. I'm gonna just stick to the 0.01 and then the limit price. So for the limit price, we're gonna to look to be somewhere at 1687 or again, a little bit below. So I'm gonna go 1600 and 85, which allows me to have a little wiggle room to still get out of the trade in case Ethereum is moving really, really fast and blows through that 1687. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and place the sell order. And now you can see similar to the sell limit order, we see the order on our open orders page. It is not filled because the price has not gone down to that 1687, but you will notice the status is actually active. So what that means is the order is actually not on the order book over here. It will only be placed on the order book once the price, the 1687, has been triggered. At that point, it will go live and hopefully, again, it will be filled immediately. If not, we gave it a little bit of wiggle room down to that 1685 price. And with that, we've covered all three main types of sell orders, market, limit, and stop. All right, that is everything about sell orders. For those of you just starting out, you should now be armed with a lot of great information to help you start placing your first sell orders. And those of you who are intermediate or advanced traders, hopefully you learned something new to help elevate a new strategy or a better way to use these sell orders in your trading. All right, two last things before we finish. The first one is our favorite topic, which is taxes. Now I am not a tax professional or accountant um, and taxes typically like to change all of the time. So be sure to check up on these, but for now, Cryptocurrency is treated much like stocks where there's a capital gains tax whenever you sell your cryptocurrency. So what does that mean? It basically means two things. One, if you hold the cryptocurrency for less than a year, your cryptocurrency will be taxed as income, which basically means that if you buy and sell cryptocurrency within the same year, whatever your profit was, that will be added to your income just as if you earned it from a job and be taxed at whatever your income bracket is. The second way capital gains tax works is if you hold your cryptocurrency for more than a year and then sell it, the tax rate is different. It's not ordinary income. It's usually between 15 and 20%. But again, these rates change often, so be sure to just check into it before trading cryptocurrency. So the second thing and last thing I wanna talk about is short selling. So currently on Coinbase Pro, you can't actually short sell. In fact, there's a very few exchanges that allow short selling of cryptocurrency. Short selling is basically selling cryptocurrency that you don't own. You borrow it and then sell it and hope to buy it back at a lower price. So this is an entire investment and trading strategy that works out really well for a lot of people, but I would encourage you to learn a whole lot more about it before diving into it. And I'm not gonna spend any more time on that here because it's pretty limited in the cryptocurrency space, but if you have more questions, feel free to comment below about it. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for being here and watching these videos. If you enjoyed going through it just as much as I did, please go ahead and subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video right now. It really helps support me and my family. And with that, thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Logan. Remember to stay healthy, love your family, and elevate your wealth.